Hi, in this video I want to uh, take a closer look at dictionaries. I've used dictionaries in a few tutorials. I used one in the encryption video. Uh, I also used a dictionary in the pickling uh, video, the last video I made. Um, I just want to look at them uh, in terms of how to sort them and how you can sort data within them, etc. Because it's one of the common things that people want to do with dictionaries. And I think as a, as a beginner programmer, dictionaries are are woefully underused. They are fantastic uh, ways of you know, retrieving information. So uh, let's get into it. I've created a dictionary called stock and in that stock dictionary I've got three keys at the moment. I've got apple, banana and pear. When I call one of these keys it will return the, the list. Now this stock here uh, represents the last three weeks of sales. So for example, a, oh, go away, Java updates. This week so far, I've sold five apples. Last week, I sold twenty apples, and two weeks ago, I sold uh, ten apples. Bananas. This week, I've sold ten. Last week, I saw, uh, I uh, sold fifteen. Two weeks ago, I sold twenty, etc. Right. First things first. Let's just print the actual stock, just so you can see what's happening. Um, I'm just going to print this as well, so it's clear to you when I print it on the screen that this is going to be an unsorted, uh, an unsorted um, display of the contents of the stock. So for each um, item in stock, that seems like a good variable name item, for each item in the stock, print item, which is basically the key, um, and then I'm going to put in here a little bit because I'm, I'm forming a string uh, a colon and then I'm going to put the stock and then I want it to display the item based on the key so if I run that at the moment you'll see that it's just printed pear banana apple it's not in any particular order well in fact it just happens to be in reverse order but it's printed the the key which is this thing item and then the stock stock item, remember when you when you call a key it returns the value, in this case it's a list of values, it's returning the associated value, so pair 5, 30, 20, pair 5, 30, 20. Okay, so that's unsorted. Let's do um, another title here then. So we'll do um, the, is it? No, it's that way. Um, let's do a sorted list. So what we're going to do is we're going to print the uh, the stock in alphabetical order. No, no, actually, let's let's do let's sort out this list. So we're going to we're going to print the same contents, but actually, rather than it being ten, twenty-five, we're going to go twenty, ten, and five. Maybe I want to ha I want to store the information in a particular order, uh, so it shows the highest set number of sales first so let's let's write something for that let's do another for loop so but this time I'm going to use for um, well let's do for item in stock again so for item in stock I want to return the stock and then the item but I want to I want to sort those items in an, in an order now if I run this um, Let's just let's just print this again. Uh, we'll use the same line again. Okay. Uh, let's run that. We can see that it's sorted five, ten, twenty, five, twenty, thirty, ten, fifteen, twenty. So that's sorted in uh, ascending order. But let's say we wanted to sort it in descending order. All I would need to do is go into here and go reverse equals false. Oh no, so reverse equals true because I want it to. Uh, reverse. By default it's set to false and because it's default you don't actually have to include it but in this case I am including it so this time when I run it you'll notice that it's in reverse order so I've put the highest value first and then it goes down in descending order. The next step I want to do um, the next step I want to do rather than doing um, banana pear apple you see there's no particular order I ran it first time here it was apple pear banana this time it's banana pear apple there's no particular order. 
let's print this again but this time what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sort by key so this this bit of code has sorted the list the next bit of code is going to sort by the key as well so um, we do another for loop so for item in sorted uh, we're going to refer to the stock because it gives us, inf us inf information here. So the iterable, this is the this is the uh, dictionary. So we're going to type in stock. Then the key is going to be equal to stock dot get. And then do we want to reverse it? We don't. So I'm going to put reverse equals false. Now for each item, I'm going to print the item and I'm going to print the stock of that item well let's just let me copy that again okay so we've got three different things we've got unsorted sorted list so we're sorting the we're sorting the value and then this one is just sorting the keys in order so if we run this now if we look at the bottom here this was the original so completely unsorted then we sorted it in descending order with the highest value going first, the, the keys aren't sorted yet, and then in the final one, we've because we've already sorted the list, we can now s print the items in alphabetical order, uh, and the list is still sorted. So some really powerful sort of like tools there to help you work with dictionaries. I hope you find it useful. All you've got to do is really practice this and you know mess around with it. Dictionaries are wonderful, and the more you use them, the better your programs will become.